Welcome back to Professor Layton and the Unwound Future, Part 16. And yes, viewers, I have made two Let's Plays in one day! It's blasphemous! And I did fix the audio, audio problem, so everything is all better. So, where we left off is... We are now in Shady Grove. And let's go see if we can go find any hint coins before moving on. That's our three hit coins. And let's examine here. I spy with my little eye a hidden puzzle. Oh my. Another hidden puzzle worth 20 picarats. You want to lay one of the five types of paving stones below around your garden without the without their overlapping each other or any of the four white flower bushes. You can rotate the stones, but they can't be flipped. Which one uh, should you use? A, B, C, D, or E? Tap your answer. Uh, let's go start off with E because I like doing the last letter first. So E is basically an L-shaped shape from Tetris. So let's see if we can make it like this. And we can make one like this, maybe? Oh, yes, that is. That is correct. And that's there. So, let's distinguish. That's one. That's two. Whoops. That's three, and that's four. Hmm, how about this? I it knew it! Correct! Stone E is the only one that will work. Puzzle 147, Paving the Garden, is now in your puzzle index. Ha! I knew I could do it! Go to the right. And where should we go? Let's go find hit coins first. Okay, that's one. Two. Three. And talk to, let's talk to this shady man over there. Psst. Is you there? You got a lost look about you. Do you know where you are? I can- I f confess we do not. This is our first time passing through here. Listen, I could be wrong, but it looks like you two are a couple of upstanding citizens. I'm a nice fella, so I clue you two in. You're standing right on top of a black market bazaar. Black market? Wow! Wow, he's right, kid. We sell a lot of weird stuff out here, and no one questions where it's from. Hey, Seagull is explaining drugs, so kiddies, for your information, don't take drugs. They're not good for you. If it was me and those shiny loafers of yours, I'd keep my head down and vamoose as quickly as I can. Yes, that seems prudent. Before we go, though, tell me, why do people come all the way out here to do their shopping? Luke, you haven't been exposed to drugs yet, so don't ask these questions. Listen, kid, the things for sale here, well, let's just say you won't find them at the supermarket. Okay, Seagull, you're wrong. People make LSD from things you buy in a supermarket, like petroleum and other crap, because I actually don't know what LSD is made of. Anyways, but come to the bazaar, and who can say what treasures you'll find? Hey, just like random pills. So, you deal in antiques and other rare items? I think we've asked enough questions for one day, Luke. Let's move on, shall we? You two be careful. Oh, and if you're ever in the market for something hard to locate, swing by. 
Okay. So Seagull is asking if either both of them will want drugs, just talk to him? Interesting. Oh my goodness. It's a cat. Let's go talk to this cat over there. Oh, hello there, Mr. Cat. What's he saying, Luke? He says he's a bit of a jam, Professor. Okay. Worth 25 pie carpets. This tomcat is trying to meet up with his sweetheart. However, the dogs on the squares with X's can smell a cat up to three squares away and chase him off. They can't, however, smell a cat through a wall. Which entrance, A, B, C, or D, should the tomcat take to be reunited with his lady friend? Okay, let's see. Let's follow... Uh, C, because whenever in doubt, choose C. So, let's see. If we follow C, we can do this. Oh, it's a stairwell pattern. And look! It's right! Because this is three away. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, what's one, two, three? So, C should be right. This one's as good as solved. Yeah. No puzzle can stop Layton's apprentice. That's right, Luke. You know you don't have to say that 24,000 times, but perfect. The answer is C. Reunited at last. Well, not reunited with dogs, but with... Her with his lady cat. Meow, meow. I know. I'm glad we could help you too. Yes, glad to be of service. And let's walk up now. Okay, let's pick up three hit coins first. Talk to either one of these men. Let's talk to the tall waiter over there. Oi! Just what do you think you two are doing? No one passes through this gate here. Now clear out, or we'll be having an we'll have we'll be having another. Now clear out, or we'll be having more than words with each other. I see. The nerve of them! They're just a pair of brutes, don't you agree? Um, Professor, what are you thinking about? Luke knows when Professor Layton is thinking. Whoa, Luke is now a psychic. Now tell me, Luke, did those two remind you of anyone we know? Oh my goodness, I actually do. Hmm? It's not an exact match, but they do bear an odd resemblance to a certain pair of fellows we know. Hey viewers, if you've been watching my Let's Plays, you should know who these men are, right? From the first few episodes? Ring the bell? Yes? No? Okay. Hmm, of course! You're talking about Inspector Chelmy and Barton! I am. The similarities are quite striking, don't you think? Big guy in charge? Check. Short assistant? Check. But something tells me the inspector wouldn't take kindly to being told he resembles a criminal. Speaking of the inspector, did his presence at the event seem at all odd to you? The event? Do you mean the time machine demonstration? Yes. Why do you suppose a police inspector was invited to an event like that in the first place? Well, he's cracked quite a few tough cases. Maybe his celebrity status got him invited. Yes, I'd assume the same thing. After all, pursuit of celebrity status is all what you've got. Oh, but my goodness, sorry. Yes, I assume the same thing. After all, pursuit of celebrity status is what got us, me and you, to our tickets. Pursuit of celebrity? Nonsense! You're the great Professor Leighton. The very model of the modern day English gentleman. Ha! I hate to say it, Luke, but I think you're the only one who'd heap that kind of praise on me. 
From what I saw, almost everyone there was part of London's upper class or the media. The inspector and I were clear exception to an otherwise homogeneous name of list of names. So? So the question looms before us. Why did Dr. Stargun, whoever he is, invite me and the inspector? Why I wouldn't, what I wouldn't give to hear the inspector's take on the event. Yeah, it's too bad. We'd have to go back to our own time to ask him. Wait a second. What if the inspector is still working here in the future? Professor, there you are. Ah, hello, Luke. I couldn't help but overhear you as I ran up. Did you say you'd like to meet up with the pro inspector? Yes, ideally. We would like him to back... Oh my goodness. Anyways, we... Yes, ideally we would meet him back in our own time while the events of ten years ago are still fresh. I think we can make that happen. But how? Let's continue this conversation away from prying eyes, shall we? Why don't we head over to the wooden area to the west? Okay, let's go ahead there. Actually, nah, let's not go. Let's go. Oh my goodness, we can bar shoot this door. Another hidden puzzle? Oh, look, a hidden puzzle! The green frame and six orange blocks below are all composed of identical equilateral triangles. The frame can be perfectly filled using five or of the six blocks. The blocks can be flipped and rotated in any direction to fit the frame. Circle the one block that isn't used. Okay, so let's try if we can draw out where each piece would go. And we have, oh look, we have more than eight colors. Or we exactly eight colors. So let's name this one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a three there. So let's start off with number one. And let's say that goes here, okay? And number five should go here. And number six should go here. Number three, or well, number six should go here, I mean. And that before was number four. And let's see number two over here. Meaning number three is the only one that's not being used. That should do the trick. Well, that's settled. 185 Ficarats. Excellent. Was it tough to assemble that in your head? Blah, 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 I don't want to read. Puzzle 153, an extra block is now in your puzzle index. Nothing like a bit of exercise for the brain. And, hmm, let's go down now. There. Much better. I don't think anyone is likely to overhear us here. Is that right, future Luke? You mentioned that the way... Oh, sorry. You mentioned that there is a way for us to visit the inspector who exists in our own time. I can only imagine this means returning to the present. Is that possible? Indeed, Professor. But the only way to do that is to use the wormhole in the clock shop. But the doors to that place are bolted shut. How will we get in? That shouldn't be a problem. I can get that door open for you. Strange. Why is that you have such easy access to the wormhole? I promise I'll explain everything when we get there. Please trust me on this. But for now, let's return to the clock shop in Midland Grove. But what about our plans to head into Chinatown? That will have to go back. That will have to go back. That will have to go on the back burner for now. The situation has changed. And let's end our let's play here. Until next time, bye bye.